heaven actually real? Is God even real? I'm Dr. Mary Neal, and I hope to answer questions like these as I share with you some of what I experienced when I drowned on the South American River while whitewater kayaking. As we move through the next nine episodes of Strengthen Your Walk, I hope to help you discover how you, too, can come to trust God's promises and personally experience God's tangible presence and love. My own story with religion began in the 1950s and 60s when I was taken to Sunday school as a child. It was certainly something we did and were expected to do, but I don't recall anyone ever talking about how what we learned on Sunday could be applied to our life on Monday. I was certainly raised to have integrity and to be honest and ethical, but as worthy as all that might be, it still misses the mark of allowing God's truth to radically transform one's experience of daily life. When I left for college and medical school, I easily left my childhood faith behind and adopted the somewhat pedestrian belief that faith and science cannot coexist. Although I was a good person, I believed as many people do that I was too smart, too accomplished, and too self-reliant to need God. As I moved into my surgical training and afterward, I became too busy to think much about God. I was married, I had a full-time job as the director of spinal surgery at a major university, and I had four little kids. <laughs> at that time, I had not personally known anyone other than patients who had died and had not suffered any notable challenges in my life other than my parents' divorce when I was in middle school. Life was good. God was an abstract concept, and thinking about faith was something that never quite made it to the top of my to-do list. As I look back on myself, I would say that, like so many people, I became a cultural Christian, someone who appreciates the moral foundation that religion provides and hopes there's something more, whatever that means, but not a person who was able or willing to give God much thought or room in daily life. But that all changed for me one day in 1999 when I was whitewater kayaking in a remote part of South America. After going over a waterfall, my boat and I became pinned under eight to 10 feet of water and I drowned. <laughs> During my time underwater, I chose to crack open the shell of my own invulnerability and open myself for the first time to the presence of God's radical love. What happened as a result is not only a story filled with God's grace, continued presence, and miraculous intervention, but it's a story filled with the remarkable hope and insight that begins to shed light on many big questions of faith. Please join me over the next couple of weeks as I share with you the aspects of my experience that has transformed my hope or faith in God's many promises to an absolute and transformational trust. A trust that allows me and can allow you to experience the joy-filled life that I believe God intends for each one of us.